Hey there folks, Mooman here with the next exciting installment of my critically acclaimed Rebirth Island Jump Spot Guide series. Now I've already covered a ton of the main jump spots around Rebirth Island, so be sure to check these two videos out if you haven't already. But I wanted to make this update guide because several key jumps around the map have gotten slight upgrades that'll save you time and leave you less exposed while you're zipping through your favorite parkour flanking routes. Let's get started and jump right into the video. Speaking of those new and improved jumps, we'll start with the updates to some pretty important spots around Granny's House, the inside of prison, and a few over by the harbor area. Now what exactly do I mean by improved jump spots? If you didn't know, a few patches after the Vanguard integration, the developers made very slight changes to your max jump height or jump distance. And when I say slight, I mean like barely noticeable, like your crush complimenting your stylish crocs. Enough to make you wonder if that was flirtatious or not, but not enough to make you act on it, because we all know how that last time worked out for you, and restraining orders are permanent. Now because the jump height was buffed a little bit, you can now jump straight up into places that used to require more steps or more time to get to. Let's take Granny's for example. We all know the classic sidewall jump onto the ledge and into the window. This new jump mechanic lets you skip the first mantle onto the wall and instead allows you access straight onto the ledge, saving you time on your parkour route as a whole and time that you don't have your weapon up. This works on each of these outside ledges and can allow you access into a different window than what campers inside would expect. Just make sure you're aiming for the ledge corners, because I've had a hard time getting the jump to work if I aim for the center of the ledge. There's also this side jump into the triple window on the first floor that has been around forever. I've just never covered it because it's not all that useful, but boom, that's something you can do here at Granny's as well as the new simplified pull-up jump. Right next door over at HQ, in addition to the several jumps we covered in the last videos, there's a sneaky side jump you can perform to get from the second floor window to the platform outside with a ladder. If you're being chased, most attackers would expect you to jump out of the window into the courtyard down below, but if you position yourself in the window itself, you can instead strafe jump to the side of the building and circle back on anyone chasing you inside. While we're in the area, I'll throw in an extra little route you can take from the HQ roof to get into the second floor window of the lighthouse building. Super simple, you just get a running jump from the roof wall and Evil Knievel parachute across the gap right into the window, skipping anyone camping the stairs. You can do the same thing from prison roof, by getting a running jump, cutting your parachute and auto-mantling onto the second floor window from the opposite side. They better hide they kids, hide they wife, cause you coming in here whether they like it or not. Right across the street, we've got a few new handy jumps in El Chapo's least favorite destination on the map, prison. With the new jump height buff, there are a whole bunch of new spots that don't look navigable, but are really useful new routes. For example, in the past, to get to the balcony area of the cell block, you'd have to either take one of the inconveniently placed staircases up, wasting a bunch of time running around, or climb up one of the boxes littered around, wasting a little less time but still wasting some regardless. Now, thanks to the magic of clean eating, your subscription to Men's Health, and performing a twice-weekly satanic ritual allowing you to harness the grip strength of Flex Seal, you can literally just walk up to any exposed walkway in cell block and pull yourself right up. The most useful one of these is over by the cafeteria side, where you can save a decent chunk of time by not having to run up the stairs in a big U-turn. While you can't jump straight up onto the walkway here, you can climb onto the sidewall that is like two inches shorter than the walkway, because apparently two inches is a pretty big deal now, huh? Take that, Jennifer, at least the sidewall can appreciate a good two inches. Anyway, super easy route here in all around prison that not many people know about yet. Working our way down to the harbor area of the map now, we've got another huge updated jump spot that'll allow you access to the rooftop of the harbor building. Used to be, you'd have to climb the wall near chemical engineering to get to the roof, leaving you super exposed from pretty much every angle, or you'd have to wiggle your way up the main pillar on the red church side, which in itself was a pretty difficult jump to do in the heat of battle. Not to sound like an infomercial, but now, it couldn't be easier. You can come anywhere along the back side of the building on this exposed pipe, completely covered, and literally just mantle up. Unlike the Keystone XL pipeline, which would literally do nothing to affect domestic gas prices or American energy independence, since it's literally just a transportation mechanism for dirty Canadian sand tar oil meant for foreign exportation. This pipe jump is actually a game changer because this gives you so many more vantage points to challenge people on the cliffside and can be really useful for escaping any teams that push you from inside. Similarly, the next building over between Harbor and Red Church has a new jump that you can use to get to the rooftop that doesn't involve jumping from the Red Church ledge. You won't have to use this jump very often, I suspect, but how you do it is pretty straightforward. As you're running up these side stairs, just hop onto the sidewall, turn around, and get a tactical sprint running jump to the corner of the rooftop. Your character model will just auto-mantle onto the roof, and you can get a second to plate up or maneuver away from the people chasing you, or even take the time to come follow my live stream over at twitch.tv forward slash mrmooman11, where you'll get to see these jumps live and chat with other super cool jump spot masters like yourself once you finish with this video. Continuing our journey southward like two hormonal teenagers, there's an additional flanking route you can utilize in tandem with the Red Church Roof jump spot we covered in the last videos. 
This is a bit more common knowledge at this point, but for those of you that don't know, you can run along the entire backside of the roof area because not only are you an elite soldier, but you're also a world-class ballerina who can tiptoe at a full sprint on a Ninja Warrior-sized ledge to get from one side of the roof to the other. Another jump right here in the area is by the gondola. If you're trying to get into Red Church from down by the docks, you can waste a lot of time trying to climb the boxes onto the road or running along the catwalk from the gondola. Instead, there's a super simple jump where you can just climb onto the boxed-in wall here and jump across onto the railing. Really nice way to finish a kill fast or close the distance in a gunfight with someone in Red Church without them expecting it. One last quick jump here on docks is across this little pier. It's a pretty scary jump and you can mess it up, but in those do or die situations, you are able to cross this gap across the water without having to run all the way around the pier. Speaking of perilous, gut-wrenching jumps, there's two over in security that are also right on the max jump distance. So for those daredevils watching the video, first off, leave a comment down below letting us all know you've got the biggest set of balls on you out of anyone else here and smash that like button to prove it. And secondly, here's the jump. You'll want to position yourself right on the edge of the helipad and aim for the corner concrete block by the air traffic control tower. You'll want to jump at the absolute last second possible, and even then, it'll look like a nail biter. But if all goes according to plan, you should pull yourself up from the brink of oblivion in the nick of time. The other jump spot here in security brings about the age-old question moms worldwide have been asking their kids since the dawn of time. Billy, if little Timmy jumped off a cliff, would you too? Today, that question has been answered, friends, and that answer is yes. And the jump is right here, from the helipad onto these rocks. Was that a lot of lead-up for a really uninspiring jump? Yes. Yes, it was. Moving on! Over here at what we call Bad Buy, we've got an easy way to jump onto the roof of this little building. Normally, you'd be able to hop up onto the car to get to the roof, but later in the game, if that swagger wagon isn't here, you can come over to the back side of the wall and get a running jump onto this Ode to the Berlin Wall piece of concrete here. Just a note on this jump, you can't walk up and mantle onto it. You'll just climb right over it. Instead, you have to get a running start to get onto the top of it, and then from there, it's a simple hop onto the roof where you've got some pretty fantastic cover. Alternatively, if you're a piece of trash, you can climb onto this trash can and just pull yourself right up to the top. Next up, we've got a few updated jumps around Decon Zone. Up until the jump height patch, there were only a few ways to get onto the decon roof, be it the ladders, the boxes, or jumping from the helipad cliff. Now, pretty much anywhere along the side of the building where the ledges are can be a sneaky flanking parkour route for you to utilize. All you have to do is make sure you're able to fully stand up, and then you're able to climb right up. You can make this jump all over decon, even on the side by low dam, where absolutely no one in the right mind would expect you to appear from. I suspect this will be a really clutch flanking route that has the potential to win you games, so make sure to practice it in the pregame lobby and hit that like button if you found any of these awesome new jumps useful. Continuing our little circle journey around the map, we've got an oldie but a goodie that I just haven't mentioned yet over at Bio. This one's for you, Reyna, for reminding me to include it in the video. At the top of the spiral staircase, right before popping out on the roof, you can climb into the windowsill and then mantle straight up onto the top 10 roof. It can be useful for challenging anyone up top since it's a much more unexpected place to pop out than the doorway. It's the same reason Santa uses the chimney and not the front door, so that he doesn't get completely blasted by a suburban family of four when their ring doorbell alerts them to a giant fat man trying to break in during the holidays. Anyway, our final stop is at Powerhouse, where I've got two new jumps for you to try out, but first, I want to give a little clarity on the rooftop jumps that I've covered in the previous two videos. First up, the jump onto the patio is now one step easier. You no longer have to pull a Tony Hawk and grind on the railing before hopping up on the wall. Now, one pull up and you're the opposite of Vance, on the wall. Then once you're on the patio, the easiest way to ensure you mantle onto the tin roof the first time every time is to let the auto mantle feature do all the work for you. As long as you're moving in the direction of the roof ledge, you won't have to press A again once you've made your initial jump up. This will make sure you don't deploy your parachute accidentally and will make this roof jump a lot easier. Now, the first of the two new jumps over here is on the fourth floor staircase. If you climb the railing and sit right underneath the small wall where a lot of people, including myself, like to sit, you can stay out of the line of sight from the people above, and you can mantle right up over the wall. This gives you a huge element of surprise advantage, and puts you in a 50-50 gunfight with the dude instead of trying to gun him off of his head glitch from down below. The other new jump over here is a bit more impactful and is out on the main road that gives you direct access up and over the most bigly, huge, wonderful border wall ever constructed. Problem is, that wall doesn't really solve any problems, because you can now just jump right over it. This opens up a whole new flanking route no one knows about yet, and the cool thing is, like running out of underwear right before laundry day, it's reversible too. From the other side, you can walk up the stairs, hop onto the plumbing, and pop right out over on the other side in a spot no one will expect. And with that, folks, we covered just about every major updated jump spot around Rebirth Island. I've got one more cheeky little jump slash hiding spot combination to show y'all, but first, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the Moo Crew for more Warzone content, and hit the like button if you enjoy busting it down sexual style, or like the video or whatever. 
You can also leave a comment for the algorithm and join us on our live streams over at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Moomin11. Okay, now on to the last bonus spot. Over at Chemical Engineering, there's a hiding spot that serves you absolutely no tactical advantage other than to hide and get your team respawning back in the game, or just to troll. If you come over to the backside area the little appendix room by the grapple, there's this electrical box looking extra thick. You can hop up on it, squish yourself into the corner against the wall, and wiggle around all different directions. You'll fall down into the small gap and be super concealed from pretty much every angle. As long as you're still, it'll be pretty difficult for anyone to see you hiding behind there. And the cool thing about this spot is that it's fun for the whole family. You can fit at least three people in here at a time, which I have no idea why you would want to do that, but you can. When you're done, you just climb out and go on your merry way. Alrighty, well that's everything, folks. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal. I'll love you forever. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, inside green, inside green. Going up the cliff side. I'll take care of it.